Hey, what's up guys, how's it going? Today we're going over how to draw Luigi. Uh, essentially the same Luigi from Paper Mario. Uh, really cool game. Uh, so, let me tell you what I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using, for one, I'm going to be using a generic pencil. This is generic so I can just trace in kind of the under sketch, you know, but it doesn't matter what you use at all. Uh, I'm going to be using this Copac marker. Copac marker, I like it because it has a flat side and it has a pointed side. I dig it, you know, it's kind of expensive. You don't need to buy it. I just prefer it. Uh, and then we're going to be using some colored pencils here. Some really bad colored pencils. And I, I mean, I feel bad saying that. I just don't like them. This is the... Because the the brand is pretty lame. It's a cheap brand. These things maybe were like... A, they're very cheap, guys. <laughs> really cheap. I can't afford Prismacolor. Those are the good ones. These are crummy. Uh, <laughs> so, forgive me. I'm going to be using the crummy ones. Uh, so, but they'll do. Let me tell you the colors I'm going to be using for Luigi. And it doesn't mean I'm going to use every single one of these colors. I just want to have them there, you know, for I kind of to have some choice. There's aqua green, light green, green, uh, peacock green. Those are the greens. Then I'm just going to use uh, this thing called poppy, which is just red, in my opinion. Black. I'm using uh, light orange. Which essentially looks so yellow. Wow, light orange looks so yellow. Pale Flesh. I heard this color... I heard this thing wasn't going to be made anymore. I'm shocked. Pale Flesh is uh, politically incorrect. You know what I mean? Because, you know what I mean? It's not a flesh color anymore. Flesh is black, brown, all that stuff. You know what I mean? So, uh, you know, I heard that was a politically incorrect color. I just thought it was kind of amusing. Then there's dark brown and regular brown. And then I'm going to be using blue and ocean blue. So, those are the colors. Hopefully you got them the first time. I don't go through all those again. That's a lot. So let's get started. Whoops. Let's get started on our under sketch using our generic pencil here. Oops. Let me see. Is the camera in focus? Yeah. So, uh, Luigi. When I see him, I kind of feel like... And you can start these characters any way you want, you know, but I kind of see this large shape you know because his upper head is it tapers down into his neck and his neck is a lot thinner than his actual you know big old head he's got a bobble head on him so when i squint let's say at that character i see something like that he's got a little tummy there and then he's got his feet over here you know and i usually just start those with like a bunch of abstract shapes it can be whatever shape you want i'm just putting a ball here because that helps me do it, you know? So once I have like a shape like that, I'll try to break down that shape even more. You know what I mean? That's just very broad. I'll break that, that more into, hold on, let me sharpen this pencil. Okay. I'll break that down even more and I'll start finding his hat. See, I know his top of his hat to his neck is generally in that area. You know what I mean? You don't have to do that exact same shape. That's just a shape that helps me. You can do, you can start that with like a big old circle if you want. Or oval, whatever. So, I'm just trying to find that. Trying to find a shape, then divide it. And I'm looking for the shape of his hat. His hat has this arc to it. And it has this little ball in the back. His head fits under his hat. You know, I remember that. It's not like his head is part of his hat. Because some people do that a lot. He's got a ball for a nose. And he's got that giant mustache, which looks like a big old kind of W there. And the bottom of his face is really small. Uh, it's like I said, tapers down all the way. I would say this would be the cutoff of his neck. Got that kind of shape for the back of his neck, and his, his ear is also a ball, essentially. Um, his eyes are dots in this game. There's cool little 
little uh, little eggs, egg shapes. And this is an under sketch, keep in mind. That's why I'm drawing so bold and kind of reckless right now. Is This is the sketch I'm going to put underneath my actual drawing. This is to find my proportions. You know what I mean? Work things out when I say like, oh, the nose is too big or something. You know, then I'll, I'll change that on this sketch because this is my practice. This is what it's for. It's to practice my proportion to to make my mistakes here first before I go over it with marker. Uh, that L logo over here. Side of his hair. I'm going to put that ear in there which is essentially I can make whatever shape I want but you know usually I just put like a Y in there. He's got back of his head, back of his hair. So right now I feel like I got his shape, uh, shape of his head kind of coming in there pretty alright. We got a little mouth opening like he's chatting. See that shape is kind of lost because I'm so dark. I'm uh, drawing so dark. This, the more you start drawing, the more you'll get an idea for the proportion as well. It'll be like, okay, now the picture's coming in. Now you know, you have a better idea of what the, how big the arm is going to be because you have that head to base it off of, you know. His hand over there is very flat. He's got that kind of mitten thing going on. Must be a glove, whatever I'm in. The suspenders come down, and the, obviously the ball. Keeping the suspenders down. I'm going to move his feet up. I just feel like that would be better. Because now i got the proportion in there. And I'm going to make these little... I, I kind of put a ball shape there, because they're very round, but they're also... Round but cut off at the bottom, I noticed. You know what I mean? Kind of cut off toward the bottom. And then his hand is just in the back there, his other hand. Uh, I would, I, I do want to draw it in though. It would be odd if he didn't have it there. But this would be my under sketch. You know, I, I worked out my proportions and now I'm going to see what I can do in terms of uh, you know going over it with the marker and I want to make this stuff dark enough so I can see through the paper when I go over it see now what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to grab this under sketch and I'm going to pull it and I'm going to oops hold on I might drop those pencils there I'm going to pull it and I'm going to throw this underneath the other piece of paper um, just for reference uh, the paper I'm using is uh, basically printer paper it's junk it is very inexpensive paper it's a 11 by 17, I believe they call that tabloid size paper. I think it comes out of like copy machines and stuff. But it's very, very uh, inexpensive. So I don't think I've ever even heard anybody talk about like amazing paper. And I think they use Bristol board for, uh, I mean, you know, when you're painting, it's a whole other story, you know. But uh, I think they have watercolor paper too. But I mean, for drawing, I haven't really tampered with a lot of kind of papers, to be honest. So, oh, I'm going to be going with the marker. I'm gonna be using the sharp side here first, and I am gonna go. I'm gonna start from his nose, actually, because that's the part I, I kind of like worry about. Pull that line. I'm gonna try to pull it semi quickly, not super quickly, because then I'll overshoot it. It's more like I'm pulling it steadily. Um, you know, see that's a little blotchy right there. Uh, find his eye. Find his other eye. I'm gonna fill that in there. There's like button eyes. His hat. Pull that down. 
I'm gonna set, find the side of his face over here. I'm gonna fill that side in because I know it's really dark. Although his eye is also filled in. So I'm gonna see what that looks like before I fill that in. I don't know. I kind of want to leave a little sliver of white so that you know his eyeballs there. Mouth. Let's see bottom of the face here. Top of his hat. I'm gonna pull that. That's a pretty long stroke right there. Sideburn. Down to his neck. On the back of his pretty hair. Actually, I think I, think I threw two, an extra bump in there, buddy. Find the, uh, the icon. And I'm not going to put a dark line around the L. I'm going to put that in just in uh, colored pencil. So Find the bottom of his neck here. Dot for that, dot for that. Dot for that. And find his arm. Find his hand, his Mickey Mouse like glove, the dots on it. Find his stomach all the way down to his other foot, actually. I think that's too far, actually. I gotta be careful. Top of his foot, his boot, back of his boot. This particular design, Luigi, was clearly designed to be more child-friendly. Which is weird, you know, how can he be more child-friendly than the original design, but it is. The sole of his foot there, bottom of the shoe. Pulling back there. So remember, when you're drawing something, as you, you know, let's say you're drawing over an image, right? Like I'm doing right now, over it. If you see something that needs to be changed proportionally, just change it, you know? You're just like, ah, oh, that needs to change. Because right now I'm pulling that shoe a little bit further back than even before. On there. Um, just taking another look at it real quick. I think I have most of his body in there that I need to have. So what I'm gonna do is, you know, I don't know. This might seem like a cheap trick at this point, but I'm gonna do the same thing I did before, which is I am going to. One second, let me focus the camera more. I'm gonna take the thick side of this and I'm gonna thicken his entire contour line. Not too much though. This is a lot more smaller stuff going on here, I think, with this Luigi then. Some of the uh, other stuff I was drawing before was a little bit less complicated than this Luigi. Oh, man, I hit the edge over there. I'll fix that in a second here. Sorry, I get quiet when I'm thinking. around the edge some more here some more here doing it at the bottom as well all right I want to repair that up there a little bit da, da, da. Ah, I think I might have made it worse. Anyways, I like that thicker border outline <coughs> with thinner lines on the inside. That's just what I like. I think it looks makes it look nicer. I'm going to stop defending that now. Um, 
So now I'm going to choose the green I want right now. I have the green, the aqua green, the light green. I kind of like... I kind of like the light green. So I'm going to be using that. And I'm going to put a layer of him on every section that is green of Luigi, like this undershirt over here. Uh, you know, same thing goes down. You know, the undershirt goes down to the arms here. These guys are wearing like a turtleneck or something? No. This is a long sleeve undershirt. His hat, which is obvious. Um, let me talk a little bit actually. I don't want to fast forward this one. A lot of the bits are they're just not big enough spaces. In some of the other demos there's like huge gaps of like color. Right here is there's not a whole lot with Luigi. Oh Luigi. I used to love Luigi's Mansion too. That was a cool game on the GameCube. Well, it was alright. I mean it was just kinda of cool to display him because he hadn't come out in a game in a while at that time. I think it was just Mario sixty four and he'd always been like sick and banana, you know. But he didn't really I didn't see him walk around in games. And that was essentially Ghostbusters the game. Alright. Uh, coloring that. I gotta get to draw that L. I'm gonna just do that. I'm just gonna wing it. L is the L. And let's get more in here. Let, oh, whoops! I forgot the rim, the, his, the rim of his hat here. What else? Um, I'm gonna go over here to his hair, and his hair basically, to me, looks uh, brown. And this brown is pretty. No, actually, I don't know. It might be darker than this brown. We'll see. I'm gonna try it out. It might be too light. Might be too light for Luigi here. But I'm going to put it down, and then I'll put down a darker brown if I need to. His mustache, his cool stash. Anybody watch the Mario Bros. movie? That was a, not a good movie. <laughs> Luigi played by John Linguizamo. That was not a good movie. It's from 1992, I believe. I watched it when I was a little kid, and I didn't really think about it. But, yeah, that was not a great movie. And his shoes are also... I'm starting to get, like, some my hand hurting here going on here that's that's the kind of the price that you pay when you push down really hard on stuff normally I, I do uh, you know when I do jobs I do digital mostly and that doesn't really you don't really have that issue I have honestly never had any sort of carpal tunnel type issues before this is like the first time I'm starting to feel it because I'm starting to use colored pencils more often you have to push down on the paper so hard All right, that's a little bit too light, I think, for me. I'm going to grab the dark brown, and I'm going to darken up some of this. I'm going to darken up his stash, for sure. His mustache definitely needs to be darkened. Even the back of his hair over here. Be a little bit darker. You know, it kind of blends it too. Sometimes it's better than if you just put a single color. Having several colors kind of gradate around makes it just makes it look better. I'm not sure why that is, and I don't, I can't verbalize it. All right, let's go to his uh, flesh color. His, he's got kind of a yellowy skin, so I'm going to use his pale flesh. He's a pale dude. And wow, I don't know. This is a really bad colored pencil. Well, I'm going to try to fill in this gap. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Yeah, these color pencils are not great. They're kind of chalky and weird. You know what I mean? They go with this really strange look. I guess on camera it looks all right, but in real life it looks really weird. But uh, this is just a big... I'm going to fill this in very flat, actually, because it's so, it's so light. I don't really feel like making it try to be dimensional or anything like that. I'm just going to put it down really flat. Oh, yellow Luigi. Nah, he's not that yellow. He's really yellow. In, uh, actually, he really is pale, though, like that in uh, Paper Mario. 
Um, let me go and uh, get the blue now. Oh, I'm sorry, the red. Or the poppy. Can I put that there just for his mouth? Uh, some light orange, which is basically yellow for his uh, suspenders holders here. I am going to go very lightly with this black, actually. Very lightly, because I, I wanted this to be gray. His gloves, but instead of gray, I'm just gonna go very light with his black, as light as I possibly can on the side of the pencil, on the side of it, using the side edge. And I'm gonna grab a blue, and this blue is called Ocean Blue. I'm gonna grab that for his suspenders here. And I'm pretty much just gonna go flat on that. Pretty flat. I'm looking through the camera. It needs to be darker, honestly. So I'm gonna push down darker and give it another, another layer here. Just push harder on it. And that's really just like again using my hand to push down harder on the surface so let me kind of overlook this and I'm gonna do a couple oh man let me see I forgot the bottom part there I'm gonna put some light orange for the bottom of the even though it's yellow some light orange for the I guess that does look light orange I'm gonna grab a uh, that was light light green so I'm gonna grab green now and go along the edges just the edge kind of where the outside and I'm gonna do I'm gonna gradate that because it gives it kind of a cool look. If you really want to get bold, uh, we can draw the shadow from his hat. You know what I mean? I can grab, because th the reason I'm grabbing this is the light orange, is because it kind of looks like a darker version of this pale flesh. So I'm going to see if that would go with it. kind of looks darker. So I can maybe go right here. Make it look like that hat has some shadow. Looks alright. Looks aight. Alright. Not, not great. I'm going to try with the black here. Yeah, that was a mistake. Don't do that. Eh, it looks alright actually. Go with the black over here around the ear, give him some dimension. Toward the bottom of the glove. That's uh that's about it actually. Anyways, that's the end of the demo. Oh actually one last thing. I want him standing on the ground, so I'm gonna put some light shadow below his feet. Very light. Make him look like he's standing there. Anyways, guys, thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. This demo's gone on long enough. Uh, these are the supplies that I used, I think. I, th I used most of those, not all of them. And, wow, that's a lot. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. Spread this video around Facebook or YouTube or uh, YouTube. Yeah, just link it. Uh, I love the way, I love the feedback I'm getting, and I really appreciate you guys uh, viewing. So, I'll talk to you guys later. Thanks.